talk Marvel in DC. Let's let's talk. Let's let's talk about this. Um, you know, if you're like anything like me, who pretty much grew up, you know, reading the comics, watching the animated shows, you know, all of that, you you kind of understand where I'm coming from with this. And the thing is, is that <clears throat> as much of a DC guy that I am. I don't really say that, you know, Marvel sucks and it don't. Marvel doesn't suck. It's it's to me, I'm I'm more of an in-between kind of person. Like I like Marvel and I like DC. I like them both. Like if I had to choose which one I would prefer the most, of course I would say DC, but that doesn't mean that Marvel's any less than, you know, that. Because Marvel has put out some good stuff over the years. Marvel has some good animated shows back in the 90s, the Spider-Man animated series, X-Men animated series, the Incredible Hulk animated series, even had the Fantastic Four, um, the Silver Surfer, you know, it had all those animated series. And DC has Superman and Batman, which was well known and popular. Then it adapted to um, the Justice League series and the Justice League Unlimited series. And then here we are today. Around the early 2000s, you know, Marvel and DC were pretty much just spewing new movies out. It was pretty much putting out the movies because you had movies like the Sam Raimi trilogy with Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movie. You had the Ang Lee's uh, The Hulk movie. You had Ghost Rider. You had Blade. You had Daredevil, Elektra, Punisher. You know, you had all those shows. And DC pretty much had just uh, mostly a lot of the Batman movies. Because, again, Batman was a very popular character. Then you had Superman. So, you know, yeah, early 2000s, you know, DC pretty much only was rooting mostly just its movies. The two main popular ones, which was Batman and Superman, where Marvel was pretty much doing, was really out movies that will probably catch his audience attention. This is way before that we've had, you know, before we had a cinematic universe. You know, at one point, you know, the, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movie could have kickstarted a universe because there was talks a while ago that Hugh Jackman's Wolverine was supposed to make an appearance at the end. I believe it was the first Spider-Man movie, which would have connected both Sony and Fox uh, Industries into one, which where we could have had our you know cinematic universe. And then we would have had Ang Lee's Hulk in there as well. Because, you know, at that time, oh, I even forgot we even had the Fantastic Four, then the Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. So, you know, at that time, I was into those movies. Um, DC, I was into them. I didn't really watch the Batman 1989 one with Michael Keaton. I've only seen the, of course, I saw the Adam West Batman, of course. Then I saw the Val Kilmer. Then I saw the George Clooney then, of course, I saw Christian Bale Batman, then Ben Affleck's Batman. I don't know about Robert Patterson's Batman at the moment, because I guess it's the fact that we've been we had so many different iterations of the characters. Like they just can't stick to one, like how Robert Downey Jr. Um, on, well, actually, let me say that. Actually, let me take it back. Well, yeah, Robert Downey Jr. and Hugh Jackman are the only ones who stayed playing the same character and never did a recast or anything like that. So I'm not bashing DC movies. I'm not. It's just I'm at the point where it's what's the point now with the continuity thing, you know, and now that with the whole multiverse thing, it's I don't know where they're going to go with that. I don't. You know, I've. With DC right now. I really don't know what I would look forward to seeing. Like, I really don't know what to look forward to when it comes to these this franchise because of the fact that you know in a couple of weeks suicide squad or i'm sorry the suicide squad is coming out i'm not even anticipating on seeing that movie and i know a lot of people will be like oh i'm gonna see it anyway it's just i just don't really have the energy or the hype to see the suicide squad i don't Along with uh, Robert Patterson's Batman, I don't really feel any excite excitement on that. If if I have to be honest with you, I think the only movies I probably would be more excited to see from DC would be, of course, Aquaman 2, um, Shazam, Fury of the Gods, Black Adam, of course. It's a possibility that if they, ever, if they were to make this one, I'll probably see this one, even though the second one didn't get that much um, 
positive reviews and there's probably going to be a third Wonder Woman movie which I know that they're already going to do like a Wonder Woman trilogy um the movies I wanted that I wanted DC that I wanted Warner Brothers to do was of course Man of Steel I wanted them to make a sequel a Man of Steel do a trilogy out of the Man of Steel series I wanted to see Ben Affleck's solo Batman movie um I did want them to finish off Zack Snyder's Snyderverse of the Justice League because after seeing the Snyder Cut back in March, I was more anticipated to see where the story was going to you know, go and all that, man. We never got a chance to. I wanted to see the Deathstroke movie they were talking about doing back then. Um, along with the Green Lantern movie, I wanted to see that too because we haven't seen a Green Lantern on big screen since the 2011 debacle. And I will honestly say that even though I'm a big DC fan, I will say that the Green Lantern movie back in with Ryan Reynolds in 2011 was not did not receive well with me. Um, we are getting the Flash movie, even though that movie was pushed back so many times. But I don't really like the direction of how they want to bring Michael Keaton in. Maybe if I just watch Michael Keaton's Batman, I can see I probably will see why a lot of people would say that they like that version of Batman. It's not. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I never wanted to see it. It's just I never came. I never got to actually see it for myself, or you know was anticipate on seeing the character because I was already locked on seeing Ben Affleck's Batman and I didn't and whenever talking about you know he was gonna be the main I see I hear a lot of rumors on YouTube where one side was saying that Michael Keane's gonna be the DCEU's Batman and replace Ben Affleck and I'm just like I don't know but anywho it, it's like that another thing I would like to say with Marvel, on the other hand, the only movies I probably would want to see from Marvel right now is um, Shang-Chi, Spider-Man No Way Home, possibly Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Uh, probably those, those movies, I don't the think about the Eternals. I'm not sure because I know that this movie is almost going to be kind of similar. Well, not similar, but they're going to have like the same tone as like Guardians of the Galaxy but not i don't like this is my opinion i don't know if this movie's gonna be well received because you got people who don't really know much about the eternals and, and i never i knew about it but i don't know that much about the eternals I, I i don't know that much about them like i know about them but i don't know like an in-depth story about the eternals so again they they never really sparked interest in me just the same with the guardians of the galaxy like I, the thing with the guardians i read their comics it's just that they never really appealed to me. I think that's probably why they changed it up a bit in the MCUs because they weren't as interesting in the comic series. So what do I want to say about the with the future of both DC and Marvel? Well, I'm not saying they're going to do bad going down, but it's just I think it's because we've all gotten out of that Infinity War, the Infinity Gauntlet saga, that whole decade of movies that we had with um, Marvel and then, you know, with the DCEU, some people say that the Justice, the Zack Snyder Justice League pretty much ended that whole Snyderverse or Snyder universe. Um, I, it's, it's more like the excitement. And then with the Black Widow movie, I had to see that again in my previous. I said I saw the movie like three times. Or I may have said two. I think it was. No, I did see it three times. Um... Again, this movie should have came out like the, the time it was supposed to come out, like where the movie take place. It should have came out after in that point. And I think why a lot of people did not really want to see it or didn't like seeing it was due to the fact that, again, that movie. Because, again, we were supposed to get this movie last year, but we all know with the pandemic. But, you know, it it really did not hit a lot of people because the fact that we've already got to know the character in the team of movies that we've seen her in and just to have her own solo movie after her death it just it really sparked no interest like no it didn't spark no meaning behind to it that's just like you know doing a cap well they may do that but i'm not sure but you know again like i the only thing i could probably look forward to when it comes to the mcu would probably be the secret wars the secret invasion maybe if they can do a uh, maybe a mini series of the Hydra Empire uh, on Disney Plus, but those are probably the only things I'm looking forward to in the near future. Is that I know we're supposed to be getting a I know I was I heard or read about 
Ooh, excuse me. I know we had read about uh, Captain America 4 movie. We're already getting... Well, actually, I forgot about Thor Love and Thunder. I would take that back. I would add him as one of the most... As a movie I will probably be anticipating... No, not probably. I will anticipate on seeing is Thor, uh, Thor Love and Thunder. So, it would DC... Again, there's not a lot of his movies due to the fact that, well, they haven't really hit majority of it. But I was hoping... I, I was one of them people that wanted to see Henry Cavill don the cape again. You know, we want to see Man of Steel, Superman again, but I don't know right now. It's we we're again. I, I don't know. Like, as you can guys can tell, like my anticipation right now is just not as energetic, and it's not. You know, I ain't sick or nothing. It's just I have so many expectations, so many hopes, and it's just like when they keep changing things and. Not in canceling them like we were supposed to get a new guys movie, but they canceled that because of the fact that the Snyder Cut came out. Like they could have just adaptated that, but you know we're not gonna go anywhere with that. But anywho, um, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Like you guys, tell me. Like what do you guys think? You know, it's it's been a very good you know <laughs> decade, two decades of you know comic book movies being on the big screen. I'm not saying that again. I'm not saying that MCU is gonna fail. We don't know that for sure. Like, people treat Kevin Feige as, like, the god of Marvel. And we know because he, you know, well, I don't, but some people do. Kevin Feige knows his stuff. He he knows his comic book stuff. And that's why I respect the man because he knows his material. Whereas on DC, I don't know of anyone on that side besides Jeff Johns who know about comics. But we've been hearing some things about Jeff Johns, but we're not going to talk about that. Anywho, we don't really have anyone on DC who knows a lot about um, the comics. So... It goes both ways. So depending on what they do with it, I don't know. Like again, there are some movies I am anticipating on seeing, but there are also other movies where I'm just not really feeling it. Like I may go see it if a friend wants to go see, it, or I may go see it if I'm bored and just like, well, I'm just gonna check this movie out, but it's not gonna be one of the movies where, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go see it. I'm gonna, you know, get my tickets early, all of that. Like I may just wait till the day of or maybe wait a week after to get those tickets, you know. Just I mean, to go see that movie just to see how good it was, and then I'll give you my guys my review on it. But again, like, what do you guys think about it? Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see, or what you got, what movies you guys are anticipating on seeing from Marvel and or DC. Um, what movies that, you know, that you did not like, what movies you did like, you know, leave it in the comments, we can discuss about it. But again, you know, it's, um, it's just one of them things, so. Again, we'll we'll only only time will tell, and whatever the future holds for both these franchises, I hope we get to get some good content. Hopefully, that will be a, hopefully in the near future that will hire some people who are big comic book uh, fans who know the material and are willing to not take too much of the source material, but take portions of it just to add it into their own create creativity. So. Again, we're going to see where this goes, but I hope you all have a good Sunday night, Sunday evening. You know, uh, we'll, we'll get back to you on this channel. And again, leave a like. If you like this channel, subscribe to it. Like the video, leave a like. If you want to comment, comment down below in the comment section. And I hope you guys have a good night.